What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Rail. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over you guys how to beat Mabel coverage in Madden 21. So, if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So, first and foremost, like I said, on um, pretty much every one of our videos now, thank you guys so much for tuning in because, like I said, I know it's late in the uh, Madden season and some of you guys, you don't have to tune in my videos and I truly appreciate you. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I love to attack Mabel coverage and the reason I um, want to do this video, I did have a, a subscriber comment ask me to go over it out of tight doubles. So, I did want to mention um, tight doubles, but I'm not only going to be in tight doubles, I'm going to be showing you that you can apply it to literally any formation in the game. So, it's not just a particular formation that this setup works in, it works in just basically any uh, formation, and I'll be able to prove that in this video. So, um, again, you can see right here, let's actually go to tight doubles. So, I want to start off in tight doubles now. Uh, I'm actually going to choose the play Z spot, but like I said, this concept can work with any play in the game. I just already broke down this. Um, uh, that's why I did want to just kind of retouch on it. So let's go to Z spot. Now on defense right here, I do want to show you guys first that um, we are in Mabel coverage. So I got a 15 and 5 because that's normally what you'll see. Um, or I'll just do a 20 and 5. That's that's probably what you'll see too. Uh, you'll see 20 and 5 or you'll see 25 and 5, but I'm just going to focus on 20. Um, actually, we'll do 15 because if they do 20, obviously, they're going to be too far. But um, I'm going to do 15 and 5 right there. So let's go to uh, 335 wide and then let's go to Mike Blitz 3. So for a common setup that you see on defense, they'll probably press, they'll uh, shade down, shade up, and then they'll probably uh, crash their line out and then put their uh, linebackers slash safeties in purples. And then they'll just sit like this. Remember, the clouds are at 15 and the curl flats are at 5. Uh, or, you know, they'll do 20 and 5, they'll do 25 and 5, depending on what kind of, you know, how deep you're running those out routes. And what they're going to look to do is just use it a whole entire middle. They may even throw up a spy and only rush two. So it all just depends. But for now, to go over like a base rush three. And so uh, just to mimic this, I'm going to kind of put him in a spy so it can kind of simulate him just kind of playing something. But essentially, all you need for um, to attack Mabel coverages is pretty much a curl route and hitches and a streak to normally push back any deep zone. That's literally all you need. So with this particular setup, um, you could even do something like taking circle and putting them on a hitch, which I already did this setup, and then I was probably take him motion them out, but you don't even need to do that now. Um, like I said, all you need is curls and hitches and any flat route. So this curl to flat route combo, you see how it's gonna open up, and now the user is gonna have to decide where he wants to go and try to defend that. So. Like I said, you can actually create this with any play in Madden. So you can even do a setup that looks like, um, let's see. So you can take circle, you can put them on a curl route, you could streak X, and then you could just take square, put them on a slant, and then maybe like motion them out just like this. And then you can actually do a setup that looks just like this. And what you're gonna notice is that we're gonna have circle screaming wide open, user have to follow the slant. And then that way, boom, we just attack Mabel cover. So that's a different little setup you know so like there's a lot of unique ways so all you like i said all you need to attack mabel coverage is hitches and curls so you see right here what this curl route's going to do well first is flat route so this flat route is going to push that five yard um mabel or whatever mabel is going to push it out right um and now what you're going to notice is that we're going to have this sitting exactly right here now i think i did forget to actually um set up the defense because you got to set it up twice so let me actually rerun that and make sure that i did uh because i think i did forget to set it up for you guys so boom right here and i'm gonna put him in a spot just to simulate that and so let's actually run that again because i want you guys to know that yes it does get open and then also this slant to hitch combo is actually going to do a great job of uh pushing those zones back as well so you can see right there circle still going to open up and then depending on where they drop their zones you can actually still have that or you can have that hitch like i said it all just depends on what they're doing with their zone so now this is actually a play pacific uh setup so with this one um like i said the circle route is going to be our hitch and this gets open because look at the uh look at the 15 slash 20 whatever they have this at 25 so it's going to go out there and he's going to sit right and then since there's nothing attacking his zone that's fine that's why he doesn't play anything and now this five yard of course is what he's going to do a nice job of guarding a flat route so look what gets wide open right here right and think about it the user has to guard something right so more than likely what the user's going to have to follow the slant if he does not follow that slant then guess what gets left open? This slant right here real quick, right? So he's gonna have to run over here 
um, and guard that. And then, of course, if they don't drop their zones right, we can have that slant. And then watch what happens too as well. So let's say the user does go follow the slant or let's say the user does stop right here. See how, see how he has to choose who he wants to guard? That's pretty much the uh, essence of how to attack Mabel coverage. So you just want to stretch the user and if they don't drop their zones right, as you can tell, we can have a nice dial on the sideline. So again, I'm actually going to show you guys just different formations because you can do this out of pretty much anything. So let's even go with something like, um, I don't know, let's just gun wide trips, have back read, right? So let's just say, you know, we want to be able to create that uh, that cover. So how will we do that? So you can actually take square, put them on a streak. You can take X, put them on a curl route. Take R1, put them on a hitch. Uh, actually take square and put them on a, um, on a curl route because we'll have a flat to curl combo. You always want to have a flat to curl route combo and you want to have a curl to hitch combo with the streak. That's the uh, most preferred way that um, I like to do it online. So that way the user, you want the user to kind of sit in the middle and not know who he needs to guard. So you see right here we have the double Mabel concept right here. I'm going to spy my user just to kind of simulate the user kind of sitting in the middle waiting for routes to develop. And then what you're going to be able to notice is that what R1 gets open. If they don't guard X, that gets open. And then also, we can actually have that right there. But you actually need to make sure you throw that um, right when he gets open. And I personally like to lowball that pass um, just so that way uh, no nothing dumb happens. But essentially what the user is going to do is what? He has to choose right now. Do I want to guard the hitch? Or do I want to guard this curl out? Because why? This actually five yard, he's actually going to keep dropping. So for some reason, they're not smart enough to say, hey, hey, he's right here. Let me guard him. So what's going to happen is what? This is going to get open. And then since it's 25, 20, 15, whatever he is, he's just going to go there. He's going to stop. So he will never play this as well. So what? That's two routes that's going to get open because of double Mabel, right? And now let's take a look at this. So if they don't drop this, uh, if they don't drop him in the right zone, of course, then what? He's going to go and cover nothing. That's why I said you can lowball this ball right now. So we have literally one to three potential reads we can make and there's only one user you see so you see how we got that three on one combo that's exactly why i said that you can pretty much run this with any concept any not any concept but any formation so let's take a look at another formation here so let's go with something like um let's go trips tight end i mean it's pretty much the same thing so just what circle on the we could do circle on the um curl route we could do triangle on a on hitch we can take square, put them on a streak, and then right here, I probably put them on a put the tight end on the out route, smart route them, and then take R1 and put them in a the flat. So now um, the user has to either guard X or we have to look at this right side combo. So let's set up our double made coverage again. Now, I'm probably not going to go into replay. I'm just kind of now going over how I'd set up just different little uh, ways to attack Mabel coverage from different formations. So maybe some of these formations you run, you'll be able to have, you know, maybe a little setup that you can go to. So let's see how this looks, right? So triangle, you can tell it's going to get open. X is going to get open. Now, of course, I threw that way, way late. Um, I just wanted you to kind of pay attention to what actually gets open so you can understand that if they do not drop their zones at the right depth, you can still throw stuff. So again, right here, what you're going to notice is that this five yard is going to get widened out some. So if you're feeling really ballsy, you can actually throw this ball right here and do a low ball right on the break. But um, the reason why this is open is because this 15 yard, like I said, he's going to go in there and sit. So if you do not throw this ball right here, then, you know, of course, you're probably going to throw a pick because of Madden. And I'll show you guys that real quick also as well. But what you're going to notice on this left side is what? We have a hitch that's open and we have this route right here. So look at the user, right? User right now has to decide there's three people that could potentially get the ball. So that's why I said double made with coverage will give you know it, it's pretty much non-effective against this type of scheme right here well not scheme but route setup so wanted to make sure i did mention that with you guys so uh let's actually take a look at trips tight end i actually do the same setup and i want to show you that you actually can lowball that uh pass right there remember just set it up just like this and then here we go so like i said as long as you have a hitch a curl and a street concept and then something on this right side to where the user can have well possibly can have to guard that so let me set up this real quick for you guys on defense as well go and take him and spy him and then now we're set up boom so then let me show you that you actually can low ball that right there you see how right on the break that's 10 yards because we're smart routing 10 yards you can keep taking that 10 yards every single time if they want to sit back and just play like 15 fives or 20 and five so that's just real easy ways that you can counter that so let's go over one more formation and that'll probably be the video uh you know let's do um let's do much time since that's another popular one so even with the inside switch play what we could take circle we could put them on a curl route i mean we could put them on a hitch we could take triangle put them on a curl 
We take square, put him on the street. And then look, we can even smart route X to get that little glitchy out route. And then you can just take him and motion him out some. And then now we got us a nice little um, Mabel Beater right here. So we're going to shade up to get those uh, clouds. We'll put him just like this. And then we'll spy the user right here to simulate, you know, the user kind of stay in the middle, seeing what he wants to guard. And so what you're going to notice, of course, is what? We have circle and we have triangle that gets open. And potentially you can have X depending on how they drop their zones. And also one thing that you can remember is that you actually do not have to set it up that way. You can actually set it up um, a different way to where those curls aren't on top of each other. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here right now. So, um... What you notice right here is that those curls are right on top of each other. So if you're worried about the user kind of sitting maybe in the middle or kind of sitting right here and then like getting a little glitchy little pick animation, you can actually set it up a little different to where um, they ran on a different level. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Because normally I don't like the runner when they're on top of each other like this. That's normally not the best way, but you can tell it still works the same concept. Why? Because the uh, five yard is out here and the 15, 20, 25 will be somewhere, you know, here or here or here. It'd be somewhere like that, right? And so... If they're not dropping these zones right, of course, this can potentially be open, but don't look for that to be open. Um, you just want to see where the user is going to go if they go to that side. So, again, let me actually uh, run that for you one more time. So, let's go back to uh, Bunch Tight End. And then, let's actually go to Inside Switch. So, uh, so they don't stack on top of each other. What I recommend you do, you just want to take Triangle. You put him on the hitch. You put Circle on the curl. And then, you're uh, going straight. But I think that's the setup. I might be doing it. Um, we'll see right here, actually. Uh, let's motion them out. And then let's set up our defense, too, again. So, uh, here we go right here. Boom. You see we are set up. I think I, I think I set this up right in my head I got to think about it for a second. Um No, well either way like it's fine though, but normally you don't want to do that. I think I was supposed to put triangle on the hitch Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Okay. I think I got it y'all <laughs> I think I got it. I think I was supposed to put triangle on the hitch. So let's try it this way So let's put triangle on the hitch curl streak. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think this is how I want to set it up So let's go and set it up for you one more time now, after this this is in the video though Because I think you guys basically understand that you just need curls hits in the street combo And then you need something on that right side that'll make the user want to go over there and guard that so uh, again Yep, so that one's a little better But like I said the spacing isn't that good on bunch tight end So there may be a third way that I would probably do this that I want to test out real quick And then if, if it doesn't if it doesn't work how I want it to then we'll just go ahead and end the video but um yeah, let me know if you guys do enjoy these kind of breakdowns. And thank you so much for actually, you know, let me know how you want to see it. So with this type of thing, what I'll probably do is I'll probably take it and run it this way, just like this. So that way we'll have a nice spacing concept just like this. Um, I'm going to make sure, actually, here we go. Go ahead and press, boom, boom, do like this. Now we're set up. And this is what we're looking like right here, man. So what you're going to be able to notice is what triangle gets open. I mean, not triangle. We have circle and we have square. But anytime you have a little bunch, you always want to kind of space them out some. But anyways, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to show you guys that you can, all you need is curl, hitches, and flat routes. Those are going to it's going to basically separate those zones. You're going to be able to have nice little holes where the user cannot guard everything. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a blessed day. I'm Rage Rail, and I'm out.